How's it going? This is Mr. Bonon here with another math lesson. Today, I am going to show you how to make graphs. It's kind of easy when we have questions about graphs. We get to analyze them and we get to look at the data and look at the table and look at the numbers and see what matches. But what we're going to do today is a little bit more challenging, a little bit more difficult. See, you might be a little bit curious about why does this screen say creating charts and why does it say the meatball in the worm? Well, earlier today with my homeroom, I was a little bit curious about the NASA logo, so I showed them a video about why the NASA logo was so iconic. Iconic means special, unique, one of a kind, memorable. And after we watched the video, even in NASA, there was a big debate about which logo they should have. My homeroom, we took a, a, a vote or a, like a survey. That's when you get people's opinions. So, but we took a vote and I got some data afterwards. After asking all students in my morning meeting about which one they preferred, 14 students voted for the meatball logo and five voted for the worm. All right. So with that being said, we have some data which lets us know. Data just lets us know. Uh, it's a record of an amount of things. It's now, things, objects, it's better to say objects, but we have this data. 14 like the meatball, 5 like the worm. Now, if you really want to go on YouTube, the video is called, Why is the NASA icon so iconic? if you want to watch it or watch it again. But with this data, what we're going to do is we are going to record a graph. Now look, we're going to be, I'm going to show you how to create a bar graph and then afterwards a picture graph. So then you can see what's a little bit different about them and how to do this when it's your turn to do it. If you think that you can do it by yourself, a picture graph and a bar graph to show this data right here, give it a try. Pause the video and then resume it once you're done. If you think you just want to watch me first and then give it a try, you can do that also. I'm not sneaking, I'm not peeking, but I want you to follow along. All right, so first I'm going to do a bar graph. I need to make my Y axis, let me change the color, or let me put Y, because that's the Y axis, let's make it a little bit longer, and then let's make the X axis, so this is the X axis, alright, now, the title of this, I need to put a title, graphs need titles, and what was I talking about? In the beginning of all this, I was saying that these are NASA logos. NASA logos. That is the title. All right. NASA logos. That is the title of this graph. That is what this graph is about. Next, I need to make sure on my x axis I'm putting the categories. What categories did we have? Well, we had the meatball. I'm just going to put an M. And then we also had the worm. So I'll put a W. W. Boom. Perfect. Now, on the Y axis, I need to show the amount. To I had to have some numbers up there so then people could realize what the amount is of whatever we're talking about. Here, we're talking about votes. Because I have my class vote. So number of votes would be on the Y axis. Number of votes. See, 14 students voted for the meatball logo, 5 voted for the worm. But the thing is, 
I do not want to skip count by one. So one, two, three. No, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to do that. No, that's going to take way too long. I want you to think about a number that I could skip count by. So I could put it on a Y axis. That might be a little bit better. Hmm. What if I tried twos? That might be a little bit better. Because 14 is not too much of a large number. If I skip counting by tens, the first bar would be 10. Then it would be 20, 30, 40. That would just be way too much space already. And that doesn't make my graph look good. So, zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and sixteen. Cool. So, when I look at meatball, 14, that means I need to go all the way up to 14. I wonder how many bars that would be. Remember, each one, each bar is going to be 2 by looking at the y-axis. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. How many bars do I have? I wonder what multiplication equation can even show or represent that also. Now, I want you to think for the worm. Let me just put 14 on the top of here so we don't forget. For the worm, how many bars do you think I'm going to show? Hmm. Five votes for the worm. I don't see five on the y-axis. So let me just give this a try. So I know it's at least two. I know it's at least four. So that's two full bars. But it's not going to be a third bar because it is not six. It's not six. So, ladies and gentlemen, it would be half. So two and a half bars because this half would be kind of like where five would be because five is in between six and four. So, I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars for the meatball and two and a half for the worm. That's how I would show with this bar graph. Now, real quick, I want to show you how it would look on a picture graph. A picture graph. Oh, let me erase this all. Let me erase. Erase. Get out of here. Disappear. Disappear. See ya. Get out of here. Vamos. Adios. Ale. Ale. Boom. Perfect. So remember, it was 14 that voted for the meatball and only 5 voted for the worm. The worm is pretty cool. You know, you know, maybe you like the worm. But a picture graph is going to kind of look in the beginning when I make it like a bar graph but what I'm going to do is actually I want to put my categories on the side so these will be the on the side right here on this y axis I'm gonna put types of logos types of logos and that's what I had on the x axis before types of logos so we have m for meatball and then we have w for the worm and i'm not really going to show numbers on the side because with a picture graph i need a key or a legend and that's going to let us know what each symbol represents key slash legend so this is the key slash legend you can say either or but just know that key and legend mean the same thing. Because it's easier on a computer, my symbol, like always, is just going to be this circle. Now, what I want to do is figure out what I should have each circle represent. Well, on my picture graph, on the y-axis, I mean on a bar graph, on the y-axis, on the side, I skip counting by what number? 
Do you remember? I decided not to skip count by one because I don't want to draw 14 circles. That's not efficient. Efficient means being accurate, like getting the right answer most of the time, and being a little bit fast. So I need a more efficient number. What if I use two again? Hmm. I wonder how many circles I would draw for me, ball, if each circle represented two votes. I got to make sure I put votes because people say two what? Two what? And two votes. I wonder how many me how many circles I would draw to show 14 votes. Well, it's like skip counting by two. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. They're not perfect circles. Give me a break. I tried. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And remember, each circle represents two votes. So that's good. Now, I wonder how many circles I would draw to represent to show the amount for the worm. Hmm. Well, this is two. There's five votes for the worm. There was two. This is four. I can't do a complete circle because that would be two, four, six. So how can I show five if this is four? Well, I'll just show half of a circle because half of two is one. So this is two, this is two, and this is one. Two plus two is four, plus one is five. So this would be how I would show it with a picture graph. I put the label, the title on top. This is letting you know what I'm talking about, types of logos. I switched it so on the picture graph, my categories actually go on the Y axis. And there's nothing really on the X axis, but my pictures and my symbols could go left and right like rows. They can even go up and down like I had it on the bar graph. It's really up to whoever is creating it. But now you know how to create your own picture graph and bar graph to record data. I hope you see this as useful. Maybe have a vote in your house. Take a vote over who likes what. Give it a try and make your own picture graph and bar graph. Give it a try. This is Mr. Bonome. I'll see you later.